What up players, Warboss here up in this mood. I had some requests in private messages and comments to do something with the Skaven, so I am knee deep in dwarfs right now, so I can't really do anything with my Skaven kits, but I can review this book, Uniforms and Heraldry of the Skaven. This is actually the second Uniforms and Heraldry book to come out. The first one was for the Empire. Basically, it's a bunch of drawings, paint pictures, and um, just art created to give the Warhammer collector and painter a chance to look at the different color schemes that he could base, or she could base the army in. So um, I don't know if it's really catching on because this came out quite a while ago and they only came out with two for the Empire and for the Skaven. I kind of wish it was more of a success and um, just because I, I think the concept is cool, creating you know, artwork for different nations or clans or tribes and stuff, and uh, uh, there are only a couple of problems that I have with it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the price. I think the price is a little bit too high. Um, I don't want to go into the price because I'm, I don't know if it's copyright or if I can get in trouble for telling you how much this cost me, but when I picked it up, I thought, oh, this, is, this looks like pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's really small. Um, but I guess because of the manufacturing cost, it just, uh, it just costs so much. So, um, that's too bad. But the artwork is really cool. And, um, you can see clan and markings of the under empire and it, it's chock full of great art. My, um, well, we'll get to that later. Let's, let's give you a quick rundown of what's going on. So on your opening page, you've got a bunch of clan pestilence rats like about to join battle. This is my favorite, by far my favorite part of the book, is that you'll see in the Empire book too, the first artwork they have is of the army in uh, being highlighted, is marching off to war and about uh, in all of its glory, resplendent in all of its glory. And you flip to the end of the Empire one and everybody looks beaten up and they're tired and they're weary, but that's Empire, that's humans. What does Skaven look like if they're returning home from a battle? <laughs> giant rat monster is like ah, get me out of there this rat is like whoa, whoa. and they're all like wee, 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 wee. run away run away so that's my favorite part of this book um so you get a little bit of, of history on the skaven and just a, a little bit of a breakdown on ooh, focus on uh, you know, their clan society and the structure and the breakdown of, of the chain of command. A little bit of the different clans and the Council of Thirteen. And then we go into some markings, which is cool. This is great for if you can freehand your own banners or, sh or if you want to freehand designs on shields. Some of these have uh, labelings, like this is what they mean, Molder, the Kurt, uh, Sign of the Horn Rat, Grey Seers down here, Clan Moors, and then you've got some info on the Council of Thirteen, and uh, you'll notice this in both the Empire and the Skaven book. They have, they have uh, what they, I guess they call heroes or highlighted squads, special squads, where they will talk about. Uh, a famous person or a squad and give you a little bit of info and this is supposed to this is supposed to inspire you to to possibly paint or convert or create this unit in your army basically is the main point of that the thing that i'm most upset about in this book is that we'll go a little bit through each clan their colors their markings and their background and stuff but as you notice, it's all um, hand-drawn or, or or whatever created uh, artwork. It's just like paintings and you know graphic design and stuff. There 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 are no photos of the studio, Games Workshop Studio, or Heavy Metal Painters or anything. And I think that's where they're gonna lose all of their um, all of their potential sales. Is that what I would have done would have been okay? You've got this great artwork. It looks really great. It looks really awesome. But either make it smaller and then put it up in the corner and then show a Games Workshop Studio converted model, or um, or just have it on like on 
one one page if you want to have your artwork this big and this beautiful then have it on one half of the page and then have the other side a uh, modeling workshop or or this is the finished model these are the paints that we use step by step to paint it up so that you can get your very own model just like this and that's you know that's what painters and modelers love about the hobby is that we want to see things that inspire us we want to look at and read about army workshops and and see how others did did their models and that's the thing that i wish they would have done you see oh yeah look at all these great drawings of clan eshin models but you never see the uh, the banner that looks like this on an actual skaven figure or you never see these models painted up in these colors ranked up uh, for battle which is you know what we want in the hobby we're we're making these figures and this book brings them to life in the concept art conceptual art side but you know unless you have just the perfect imagination and color theory to say like oh this is desert yellow this is Calvin brown this is dark angels green with snot green highlights bold gun metal and um, desert yellow and Calvin brown boom right there now i can paint up my own other people like new painters and new hobbyists and modelers aren't gonna really know they might say yeah that looks interesting that looks nice but if they saw here's your uh, whatever catapult and then you put another one right underneath it the picture of the actual model in all of the colors from here then you can see you can actually see where it goes from concept to tabletop and then you can think to yourself oh that's what I want like when Chris Peach did his clan scurvy army for the army workshop for white dwarf i was like that is what i want i saw on uh, actual pictures of the army and it made me want to convert and create my own clan scurvy instead of the usual games workshop red uh, clan moore style so anyways you, you you get some interesting fluff on and background on each of the different tribes and stuff and here's like the albino guard which you might have seen some storm vermin painted up in all white like albinos uh, and then just you get fluff you get pictures of clan rats slaves heavy weapons teams and shields for whatever clan you might be interested in here's one of the regiments of renown i, I think i remember them calling them and some background um, and some inspiration for the banners but like i said you're seeing it in a you know in a flat uh two-dimensional uh, just just on the page and you're not seeing it on a picture on a 3d model so it's that's the most disappointing thing is like it's great to look at all this art but really they're basically taking the same couple of images converting something so okay instead of holding a knife he's holding a whip and instead of this kind of headgear let's give him this headgear but like the body shape is always pretty much the same just change some things around and um, that's just kind of sad. So I'm, I'm not gonna really stop through all of the um, all of the clan scurvy, woo! Through all of the clans, but you get kind of the image or the uh, impression, right, of what of what this book is. It goes through all the clans, their their main um, banner, some some fluff for them, and it, the cool thing about this is this book was where I think this book came out at around the time when every when the book came out and everybody was wondering what's a war litter supposed to look like then they gave you some idea like oh here's a warlord there's a little thing he's writing and here are some clan rats and this obviously looks like a one of the skaven banners that you can get off of the regular clan rat regiment so nothing too fancy but um yeah you know i just wish they could have shown an actual picture of a model that the studio had converted up or here is a warlord in a <laughs> in like a little chariot thing pulled by a rat ogre you know stuff like that um, and some of these are really they really are interesting and uh, like the, the concepts and the ideas of them like when you get to the back they have some really weird ones and here are these lesser known regiments where I mean some of the fluff and and like even some of the some of the artwork like this guy looks like a little um one of those little 
big, big googly-eyed mice. Like, where are you, how are you supposed to do that? Like, there aren't any Skaven that look like this in the range. What if I was to say, I want a clan Skrittle Spike regiment? Like, how are you gonna get that large, giant eye and ear look? Because most of the Skaven just look like this, right? So, anyways, overall, my impression of the book is it's a good starting point if you're collecting a new army and you're familiar with color theory and how to paint your armies and and it can be inspiring for you if you know how to if you yourself know how to yeah hidalgo yeah if you know how to take something that you see and transfer it onto a three-dimensional model then yeah I, I definitely think that you can get some good inspiration from from this book but like I said, for the beginning painter, modeler, or for someone who's just getting into the hobby and, you know, hasn't read too much White Dwarfs or too much, uh, hasn't played too many games, this might not make any sense because they'll be like, this. I thought Warhammer was about painting and playing with miniatures. I don't know why you're showing me an art book that's just all art and fluff. So that's my review. Uh, I give it uh, three out of five pieces of warp stone. And um, tell me what you think. Do you have this book? Do you have a Skaven army? Uh, what would you have liked to have seen in this book if if you collect Skaven? Um, really, I think it's just missing. It, it just needs pictures to make it uh, worth anything near their charging for it. Um, but that's my impression. And uh, I hope you like this review. And I'll see you in the next one.